Hi everyone. Today we're going to be using an online art tool called Tape Paint and I think this is going to be useful if for some reason you don't have all the art supplies that we're using because you can use Tape Paint um, anywhere on a device. So when you go to the Tape Paint site you're going to click Let's Create which is the blue box on the left and for today you're going to select the white paper. You can play around with the other choices but today we're going to start with a blank page. And at the bottom of your screen you should see all of the tools and colors that are available to you. I suggest you play around and see what every tool looks like because they all look a little bit different. Um, after you're done experimenting you can always hit the pink trash can on the left side of the screen to start over. So today we are going to be practicing some of the lines that we learned about last week by making a landscape. So it's going to be a nature scene. And right now I'm putting a zigzag line in to create my mountains. The light blue is gonna be my sky and the brown is going to be my mountains. I'm just filling in the parts of the sky that I missed. And you don't have to use the same colors that I do. Uh, maybe you wanna have a sunset and you wanna make your sky orange. Maybe it's nighttime and your sky is black. That is totally up to you. You can always make your details a little bit different from mine. Next, I am using the dark green and I'm making a wavy line to show the tops of my trees. When I create uh, horizontal layers like this with my mountains a little bit higher and my trees a little bit lower, it makes it look like the mountains are farther away, like they're beyond, behind the trees. And that makes it look like uh, the things are spaced out in my drawing. So now I'm just filling in the mountain space behind the trees. And finally, with a little light green, I'm going to add some grass as the bottom layer. Now it's time to add some details. Tape paint does not have a white paint. So to add white to your pictures, you need to use the eraser tool like I'm doing right now. I'm using some wavy lines to put some clouds in my sky. And the eraser comes in different sizes. So I just selected a larger size to color in my clouds because it goes a little bit faster that way. Next, I'm using the pencil tool to add a little bit more detail to the edge of my mountains. Once again, creating a zigzag line. And now I'm adding some little lines inside the mountains to show that rocky texture. and showing the edge of the leaves with a wavy line. Now it's okay, as you can see, if your line doesn't go perfectly around the color. We're just using this to show a little bit more detail and give the idea of some trees. 
So now I switched to brown and I'm just giving my trees some trunks and branches. And once again, if you want your details to look different, that is totally fine. Maybe you want to use some orange and yellow to create some fall leaves on your trees instead of green leaves, that would be fine. Uh, maybe you wanna put some flowers in your grass. I want you to um, use your creativity with your details today. So now I am using my dark green and adding some vertical lines to the grass to show the grass texture. And I decided to add a little pond up front, so I'm using the blue paintbrush for that. Adding kind of a broken zigzag line on the edge of my grass. I decided I didn't really like that one corner of my pond and the nice thing about tape paint is you can always paint over any parts you don't like so you're gonna hit the green check mark and then hit the green check mark again when you are done and it will show you what your finished piece looks like after that you just need to hit the green download button to save your picture and then to send it to me you just need to submit on Schoology I can't wait to see what you create this week everyone see you later